better stay out here in the moonlight. It's so pleasant. There are sex differences on average in empathy. But by the time it's measurable, you can also see that children, that girls, on average, are performing better at tests of recognizing other people's feelings. Now, speak to me. And also at judging what would be socially appropriate in a, in a given situation. I love you. Yes, speak to me of love. And by adulthood, those sex differences love remain. Love you. Now be eloquent, be brilliant for me. We've been looking at the role of hormones, particularly testosterone, that's produced by the fetus and which has a role in shaping brain development. Testosterone is interesting because males produce twice as much of it as females. And it seems to be associated with empathy in that the more testosterone the fetus produces, the slower they are to develop social skills and empathy later on. Now improvise, rhapsodize. I love you very much. I ask for cream and you give me milk and water. There are not different neural networks for empathy in men and women. Women tend to be better in emotional empathy. And perhaps it has relations with different hormonal systems, for example, the oxytocinergic system that is related to maternal behavior, pair bonding with attachment. Oxytocin is uh, released uh, when women are interacting with children, when they are lactating, when they are uh, taking care of their babies. Men don't have this.